My voice, your voice. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, happy Thursday. We are live here with our Blaze Blue beginner intermediate bracket number 13 here on uh, Empire's Club's channel, wasdygaming.gg. Um, I'm going to boot up Blaze Blue. In the meantime, I'll let my commentators for the evening introduce themselves. Hi. Uh, the person directly above me is Koyo the Wolf Spirit. Oh, sorry. No, uh, I'm directly, directly above Ryer is Koyo the Wolf Spirit. Uh, it's different on my Discord than it is on yours. Uh, they're here and commentating. Uh, I haven't commentated with them before, I don't think, but it's uh, looking to change that. I hear good things, I've seen good things. Uh, we're all just a big happy family uh, commentating some Blaze Blue. Thank you for the resub, by the way, Salty. Uh, 22 big months. Ooh, 22. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Is there someone you want to the, introduce, uh, Koyo, while we're, while we're here? Maybe yeah, honestly. Thanks bald. for the uh, bald kakyoin over there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gotta love <laughs> I love that picture, by the way. Thank you. Honestly, Good. every time I see your profile pictures, like, no matter what, it always, it always makes me laugh. I love it. Yeah, it's great to uh, to finally get to commentate with you, uh, Tom, because uh, always get to say, yeah, I got to commentate with uh, the real Tom Clancy. You ever think you can? The realest. Yeah, I can, though. The realest yeah. of them all. It's, it's a shame that more people don't, you know, take advantage of that, because I'm already, like, 65. I'm not going to be around forever. So, you know, <laughs> the sooner you can take it, you know... Get your get your comms in the better because you know one day i'm gonna go to the big red october in the sky you know and it's not gonna be pretty what i do i'll tell you that <laughs> going out blazing yeah all right um just a little disclaimer as we um begin this this is labeled as a beginner intermediate bracket but i have found that now that blaze blue has had rollback for a good eight months seven eight months uh, we are far beyond straight beginner territory. There are newer players. There are folks who are still getting started, still warming up. But this is a lot more intermediate leaning as the tournament's gone. And this is our 13th of them. So, you know, just to curb your expectations as far as the play goes. But it's always a good time. And I think everybody involved always gets a lot of good experience. Uh, let's pull up the bracket. That's a horrible cut of the bracket. So we are gonna, we got 16 gamers tonight. A couple you may recognize from either this game or other games. Our first match on stream is gonna be Gabus versus Intimidaving. And our next match on stream is gonna be Professor Nekotech versus Kosaka. But you can see some other pretty potent names in there. Yeah. Honestly, I'm really enjoying the idea that we're having some new players even come in, especially from our other like brackets like uh, Grand Blue. Since we got uh, Necotech and Master Chipmunk in there too. And we're still getting our returnees like uh, Intimidating and Gabus. Yep. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen those two play each other before. I don't think I have. Yeah. I'm going to pull them up for our first match so we can go ahead and get started. While we wait, we do have a match arena. We don't have codes tonight. Just uh, kind of winding down. Imperius Club flying back, back from Portugal today. And he's the only one who can really get the codes for us. Um, but I will fill in the codes difference. You are welcome to make a direct contribution or complete the sponsor quest, though. We're not going to show the match Reno as hard tonight. But we're still going to show it. It will always be showed. You can make sure of that. Don't, don't think you could be content without me saying <laughs> donate to the match Reno in an effeminate voice. Because I will. Oh, I will. All right. So Gavis has been our uh, resident platinum player and i think now our only platinum player since uh since alice went and graduated and yes intimidating recently told me that they would be switching to terumi from bullet so pretty interesting to see how this goes now well you know uh as far as character strength i think platinum's got the edge as far as intimidating doing more of a lateral shift let's say as far as uh character you know uh, scariness but terami man if you find a terami in bracket you are fighting for your life 
I I do not want to fight this character. It's he's he, he takes my meter and I and I use that for head ass shit. You know, you know, I, and then when I can't do the head ass shit, you know, I, I just I just lose. And then he kills me mm -hmm. again. Someone's also using me. your meter for his own damage. Yeah, that's why Tatami can have some crazy damage. It's this stuff. character also has like the the fastest meter build in the game just because of his drive buttons. It gets crazy. Very cat missiles. Oh, Ooh. going into a bit of a combo here. All right, just the reset. You love to see it. Pogo. Pogo again. Pretty close to this corner too. Ooh, Ooh counter right. hit. Not much though. Terry Tom goes for it. Nice, checks him low again. All right, he, he, they do be fuzzy jumping. They do be fuzzy jumping. Oh, oh, nice gets smash. the chain start up. Nice. Just throw the hammer at him. Nice jump over the halo too. Oh crap, it's the buff with the cat mace. Oh yeah, oh. he's uh, in a pretty precarious situation here. Platinum's kind of like Faust, but... Uh, unlike Faust in that she can get the absurd items like multiple times in a row. So like if she gets a really good item, oh what, what is that called? He goes through the the boxes. Cool. Four that he thing? died? Huh? Six K It's fine, it's fine. He's a low tier, guys. Trust. Trust. Yeah, that doesn't happen often, like honestly, like it, it'd be surprising if you ever saw it again. Nice, using the chain, just get close, okay. command grab. Command grab. Uh, oh, Ooh. Mash is out. Nice. Yeah, Mash is on the RC, so that was just a waste of meter. Very nice. Terry Dave holding some space here, gets a counter hit. Alright, gets an overhead. No combo yet. Oh, in the corner. Bursts him into the corner. Alright. Okay, I'm just looking to hold some ground here, Daving. Kind of smoothing. Daving did have active flow, so they're really close to having burst now. There they go. There it is. They're going to. Oh, counter hit. All right. Well. Okay, you might be dead. Uh, this is gonna drain the meter, and yep. there we go. Wow. Well earned. Five K. Well Love earned. It. Win. I don't want to hear any complaining, any any belly aching. You gotta hold that. I'm sorry, but you gotta hold that. Bro, I spent meter for that. Yeah. I yeah. have to get the win there. He spent his meter and yours. Like, come on. That's of course. Not fair. Yeah. Rebel yeah. Action. All right. Gamma's looking to come back here. Had some good stuff in the in the first game. It's just you know, Daving did tear me things. Yeah. Honestly. Gabus has like some decent combos down, which is very nice. Even using the bubble, just like for some amount of Oki, like they're doing good. But uh, Tedemi things are a little funny. Yep. Ooh, even using the cloud for combos, that's very nice. Oh, Daven gets out. Oh, here it is. Time to build some meter. Time has 73 meter on deck. RCs gets a throw. Okay. Nice combo up for this too. Uh, 3.2. Now Gavis does. Oh, I was gonna say they have overdrive, but not anymore. Just on the burst. Yeah, they... Oh, and the burst. Oh, there's the meter dump. That's a call. Then the meter. Boom. There we go. I'm not a brain scientist, but yeah, I could I could see that killing. That's... That checks out. Yeah, Tedemi considered usually an easy character, just because uh, it doesn't take much to do tons of damage. As yeah, you're, uh, you can clearly see. Oh, all right, okay, good blocks, good blocks. Resetting the neutral, about even life total. Even of course having the meter advantage. Drops the combo, Ooh. but it's all right. Okay. Nice parry. Okay. We got the bat. I guess everything is getting a lot of stray hits, but it's not leading into a whole lot for him. He gets some knockdown, he gets some OK, but nothing really comes in. Meanwhile, Daving just... When he hits you, you either die or get knocked down consistently. Okay, he's traded over giants. Ooh, 
I think mm. that's it. Oh, no. Exhale. Oh, oh not that's again. Scary. That's a counter hit. Oh, the uh, damage. It did. Oh, that's 6.8. From a full screen super. Completely earned. Like, honestly, yeah. this character is all skill. Completely earned. All skill. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be a Terami game without uh, a lot of damage. So, yeah, you see there, Terami and Overdrive, all resources. And yeah, there's there's no way. Hmm. Yeah, no. Good uh, good switch it seems to Terami, and also a good donation from Lord Sedelic, 1723 into the Matcherino. Thank you so much, Sedelic. Ooh. Always holding Thank it down. Much. Carl Gamers, nicest people you'll meet outside the game. I won't talk about inside the game. Your bang? Kinda kinda whack. Also, and a I'm bang not saying it because yeah. it beat me. Oh well, they they, they they used their bang against me at, at crossover and mm. uh, it was not fun. So uh, thank you and curse you. <laughs> as it should be. Call up the next match. Just want to make sure we get to round two as quickly as possible. This is Professor Nekotech versus Kosaka. Kosaka, brand new face to Wasti. Oh, well, oh very Kosaka. nice. I hope you win. I'm not biased, by the way. But I am rooting for Kosaka from now on. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Just, I respect just, it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, just like the name, Osaka. Yeah. Sounds nice to say. Nekotech, <laughs> Kokonoe makes a lot of sense for a character from someone with the name Nekotech. Yeah. Professor Nekotech, if you're not playing Kokonoe, it's... I feel like you need to change the name. That's a flavor fail, if, if anything, yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering as well who, uh, who Kosaka plays. If they come in with a Tager like uh avatar I might have to switch my bias no i i whatever character kosaka plays um, i'm telling you, i think they have the heart of a champion just by just oh. by listening to the name yeah well we do hope so and i do still hope that people will go into the matcherino and decide to Great drop in a few dollars segue. oh my god yeah donate your your money please it'll go to kosaka maybe or someone else we don't know the bracket isn't scripted as far as you're aware so it could be anyone but the top three do get some some money money moolah so if you could fatten the pot up a bit like a, a easter turkey or a, even fourth of july uh turducken then that would be ideal. So I don't need to think about the Turduncan. Oh gosh. What? Turduck Turduncan's great. What are you talking about? Have you actually had Turduncan? Yeah, I've had Turduncan. I had it after my grandma's funeral. You sounded way too happy for that. Well, um, it, it, it was the only time I had Turduncan. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest. Your All right. Going into it. Let's see. Uh. Kosaka hovering the Jin, and Nekotech just going through the entire character select right now. Jin, Finding the Kokonoe, there we are. Now it's worth noting that if a Jin opens you up with 6A, they earned that. I'm sorry, but they earned it. It's hard to believe, but it's true. 19 frames is a long time. Yeah. If they are seeing combo off of it, though, then that's you. You gotta, gotta, gotta put some put some flack on. I'm sorry, but that is unskillful and uh, mm -hmm. ban worthy, actually. You are no longer a beginner if you actually RC after six A. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Only the most advanced. I I watched minutes of Fenridi footage, and he only six A RC'd like fifteen times. So sure. it's true. Right, getting the match here. Kokonoe 3C is a really crazy button, but if Kosaka navigates around it efficiently, then it's going to be scary for Neko there. Uh, Jin, on the other hand, pretty good disjointed buttons, pretty good 
uh, stagger pressure, jump cancels, the whole nine yards. But they can't do as unfair things as uh, Kokonoi can with Graviton, side swap, 50 50 nonsense. So we'll have to see how this uh, plays out. And then also another character that's really reliant on meter and doesn't build meter that fast. So makes it hard to, uh, to ever really do stuff. While Kokonoe can just do this. What? Okay, it's yeah, fine. she can just do stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, watch it, watch it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice burst. Okay. Get off me. Now, Yokotek does have the life lead. Bit of a meter advantage as well. 42 seconds on the clock. That's four Graviton, five Graviton, no foot pressure. Nice, throw counter. Probably a match too late. Okay, Kosaka gets there, gets there some damage. Oh, it's, you know, I played against the, I played against the Kokonoi that, that just kept doing the wrench overhead over and over again. And of the few times that I blocked the first hit, I got hit by the second hit anyway, because that's also an overhead, so. It, uh, it's always that. It's yeah. always the same way. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it when it's double overheads. That, that's the fun part. All right. Oh, yep. Always plus on throw whip. It's just like you nice combo. every time. That's just that's just how it is for these uh these events. It's always gonna be plus on throw whip. Nice. Oh, there's the six A. Hey, oh, gets hit low. Okay. A little late on the mash. Okay. Od getting spent here. This can be damage then. I think that is actually that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice for Kosaka there. But uh, now it doesn't have OD or anything. That's the problem sometimes with the uh, with Jin. They really rely on having OD or meter. So spending one uh, is fine. Spending the meter, he doesn't care because next round it just resets anyways. Spending the OD does hurt. Yeah. Especially because against a character like Kokonoe, right? She can put you into some pretty ambiguous situations. Not having the time stop and just the not omnidirectional but fairly generous hitbox of you know, your exceed slow reversal. It can definitely be tricky. And okay, blue beat combo. Echo Tech gonna get through some pressure. Nice two A's, checks him low. There's another combo here, drops it and force Oh you gotta watch out for the shock. Yeah. Can't match on that. Okay, OD, OD's uh, back. Throw, you love nice to see. Throw. This is actually so Full meter, but oh, they didn't do anything. That ball's still out, but let's <clears> see <throat> another throw. Throw tech. Both are in active flow now. There's the super ball. Oh, yep, you didn't block it. That thing's still bouncing. Oh, yep. yep. <laughs> oh, no. I, I love knowing that that will happen and just having to wait because that thing takes a while to come back down. Yeah, I, it I always It is the doubt. absolute worst. But I always it's so doubt it. funny. Like, I thought that since he traded like that, it wasn't going to come down again. But, you know, I was wrong. This is Blaze Blue. This is this is <laughs> scuffed to the max. True. You think DNF Duel is bad? Nah. This well, game hold, is hold, hold on there. Weird. Hold on. Nah, nah, you can't, I, you I can't compare this to, to DNF Duel. Oh, yeah, it's 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 overhead on Blaze Blue. Oh, it's another oh, one! Okay. Oh, just keep doing- Oh, wow, Mash is out. Okay, first him off. Nice. Ooh, okay. Another Blue beat. beat. Oh, that's mine. Yep, so Rocket Punch just goes in. Another throw. Oh. Just gonna take them corner to corner. Just from these little hits. Oh, now this is a full combo. No oh, longer just little hits. Oh, approaching 3k. Oh, the ice reset. That does a lot of chip. You got a barrier that if you don't want to die to chip on, uh, on accident. Mm, nice. nice throw. Doesn't have meter or OD, oh. so can't really make much out of it. Yeah, oh, drop. nice match. Oh, have to block players. this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out. Watch out. Uh -oh. Yep, you got a barrier. He clicks. He can't see anything. Oh, yeah, the yeah, overhead. Yeah, I was, I was waiting. That is so ambiguous in mix. It hurts yeah. me to see it every time. But at the same time, I don't get to see it happen. Like, ha most of the time. Like, you just can't. Yeah. It's, that ball it's is... Like... God. It's... He 
can't you actually just cancel it? Like the balls on you. Okay, another over. Yep. Look, I always say if something's working, just keep doing it, right? If they can't block the overhead, just keep doing the overhead. You don't need to waste your mental energy to open them up other ways and they're just gonna get hit by the same thing every time. Okay, respect. You condition the opponent. You don't have to, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Why, why, why use conditioning when regular old shampoo will work on them just fine? Like, come on. Mm -hmm. Alright, pressure here. Okay, oh, check some low. Nice. Oh, you know, they're just no canceling 2C, not jump canceling. Uh, even when pretty minus, maybe they were looking for uh, EX move of some sort. Some fashion. Kosaka's gonna. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Nekotech takes it. I was gonna say he needs to get in, but Nekotech with air to air. Pretty nice. Taking it a 2 0 over Kosaka. They played pretty well, though, honestly. Yeah, a lot of unfortunate drops by both players, but I mean, Nekotech was just more consistent in their game plan. Definitely got a lot of more quality hits in, we'll say. Uh, Kosaka mm -hmm. just. There were a couple times when, man, one, one more combo completed and could have taken the round, taken the game, but Absolutely. fortunately not. We got another donation. Lord Fedbab. Ooh. Oh, two more donations. I'm sorry. Nikoji with the $10 direct contribution with the comment French Fry. You already know. Or if you know, you know, I guess. I don't actually know. Uh, and then Fedbab with the $20 for the S slash Izanamis with more to come. Promises made. Nice. Big shout outs to all the donors. We don't have codes today, but y'all are making it way more than worth the while. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the donations. Sweet potato fries are better. Get them out of here. What's wrong? <laughs> Get them out of here. Saying that to the fellow Carl player. Dang, I can't believe that. Don't matter. Your tasting I mean, character, you're right. Your tasting character even... is fine. Your taste in starch is abysmal. Ooh, this wow. is gonna be this is gonna be a really good one we got coming up. We got Deadward, a returner okay. from a while ago, um, I believe a Hibiki player, versus Onyx Dude. Okay. Oh man, I always love Hibikis. They're they're they speak to me. They're first main in like a almost any other fighting game. Love seeing Hibikis. But at the same time, Onyx almost won our last beginner bracket, mm -hmm. uh, making it to second place, only losing to Arisu. Um, doing pretty nice on the Izuyoi. Oh my and, god, that oh gosh, that's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I still absolutely love seeing those. The, uh, the beautiful Arakune face is just... Oh gosh, it, it hurts and... I, I don't wish to see it anymore. I think it's great. I've seen it on so many people that it's just it bothers me after a while because I, I it blinds my eyes. Onyx dude, a stinky, stinky Merkaba player, uh, but a very nice person. Uh, IRL. Uh, you wouldn't think of it by the character they play, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I, I never knew. Now, yeah. now I have like a bias against them. Yeah, like, well, I mean, oh. yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty incredible what you know the likes nice people will go to to convince you that actually I have a you know a, a dark side right uh, mm -hmm. a tortured soul and they the pick Merc. It's like wow, I I never knew you had it in you to commit such terrible acts. Izioi though, man, I hope a Cedrix is in chat so he can uh, complain about this character that he plays. But very strong if you know how to pilot them. Uh, Hibiki, like you said, man, this I love watching this character too. It's just there's some entry level knowledge checks, but at the high level, Hibiki's kind of kind of work hard. You know what I'm saying? You can't just yeah. throw blinks at. You. Hibiki is not a good character. He is, uh, he's pretty bad in most cases, but the amount of knowledge checks that he can throw at you makes things pretty nice. Plus with OD, his damage becomes pretty strong. And like overall, his damage is actually pretty high considering uh, most other characters. Ooh, look at that. Nice mash out though. 
I like the I like the safe jumps that, that Deadward's doing, right? Just straightforward Oki, do a safe jump, you know, if they enter unless they have meter on their safe, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's just very restrained, I was gonna say very restrained oh. gameplay. And there it is, he didn't see Deadward's gonna get a full punish here. This might actually be the round. Yep, and there we are. Good stuff. Oh, and they're gonna go for the Yuzuna afterwards too. Alright, round two. Deadward. I'm going for any Zuna resets. I love seeing that. Now, I'm surprised where he did. Ooh, no. Don't do him. Although, I guess I haven't played a whole ton of EVP players. Okay. DP's out. Oh! Uh, the 2C, but they landed behind you. Okay, you can No out. RC because, like, they didn't. They had the meter, barely, but they just didn't even have to. Oh. Mm hmm. Alright. Onyx getting out. Nice. As the stocks, you can't really use them when you get TRM like that. Onyx does have overdrive available. Oh no! Doesn't get to use it. Yeah, couldn't even burst in that situation since uh, since Deadward was also in OD. So uh, very very nice from Deadward there. Yeah, definitely some close round in the first round, but yeah, they were looking pretty dominating in that second one. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got? Hey, okay, air to airs, man, that button is massive from EVK. Jeez, man, another DP. beloved. so confident in his decision making that he's just like, yeah, I don't need RC mm. for this. You're gonna, you're gonna match. You're gonna, you're gonna try to do Oh, nice match. Nice match, yeah. Mashing to catch the teleport is really good, but the problem is that's when they can start throwing in the uh, the C uh, drive to through. Cause, uh, that will still catch you if you try to mash that. Ooh, Ooh this yeah, straight hit. Uh, oh, it's holding the burst though. Mm -hmm. All right, this is possible. Okay, just starting off the round with OD to start building up some uh, some stocks. That way they can go into their game plan early on. Yeah, There's man, the DP no. though. Edward's reactions are so on point. Oh my, just mashes out. Yeah, mashes 5B of all things. Like that's a that's a risky one. Oh, nice block. Yeah, you get a combo off that, but not if you drop it. Okay, yeah, using the different shadows just to make space, try to get in maybe. Oh, what? nice counter. That did it. Ooh, he even uses the meter. Look at that damage. Huh? 4K. Okay. All right, one more mix up will do it. Oh, okay. That's plus. Good to match. Oh, you can't match there. That's a counter. They do not have burst right now. Onyx plays the route right. Yeah. Oh, mm. all right. Oh, That's my. Close. New A. That's the point. Oh, oh we caught oh, Onyx oh, with the teleport. No. I didn't I've see never actually that. seen that interaction before. I didn't see a replay of that. Uh, yeah, Mash is on the fatal counter. Onyx just doesn't have enough damage with the super finisher to kill. Clearly just a they, barely off. You know what's actually sad? If they had OD, they would have gotten the kill, I think. But yeah. it's, it's wow. one of those moments you don't think that you need to spend that. I and instead just... <clears throat> just... Uh, I'm good. I'm sorry, teleports catching each other. I was just gonna say I, every time I come back to my camera, the Macharino has another donation in it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Come back to your camera more often. Yeah. 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 Oh, big. Uh, well, this looks like this is coming from Yuriark. Seven dollars. Have fun, y'all. The ape is coming. Oh god. Very oh. cool. Very cool. All thank right. you. Thank I think you. they mentioned that they're playing the Azrael, Azrael before, so yeah, yeah that, that, that's the ape they're talking that about. That is the gorilla, that is yeah. Caesar. Um, <laughs> next up, we're gonna have Bl Bloodberry versus uh, a Megadot. A Megadot okay. first timer, I believe, in our bracket. Now, actually, I don't know about either of these players. Bloodberries are pretty good on Mane. 
has entered a few of these and usually enters the opens as well. I yeah, I remember okay, that. Okay, yeah. okay. Bloodberry also has another character. I don't remember who, but I remember the Amane pretty vividly. Hmm. Amane is a character I have bad memories with. Uh, first person who ever taught me fighting games said, yeah, I, Amane is the character that has only one overhead, and it's the JA that's inside his own body. <laughs> and literally uh, is like you never have to block high against this character you only have to block low and then he proceeded to overhead me 15 times with that ja wow. i thought you were gonna say and then he just like chip killed you to death i was he... also gonna yeah. <laughs> no because that guy doesn't go for chip he literally thinks that chip is not worth it on that character because of barrier chip's not real and so he huh? just decides i'm going to overhead you and actually get tons of resets on this character and i'm like i hate you for everything it's worth i hate you I know, uh, but I, I love seeing Amane now because of it. But anytime I see someone go for the uh, the chip, it's like, man, it's just not worth it. You should have just gone for the JA overhead. Got a Mai versus Amane. Mm -hmm. Mai is a very strong and pretty easy character, so it's a good one to pick. But very um, fraudulent. I hate my players, but not but not really. My, my yeah, Mai is fairly. I don't want to say honest, right? Because, like, you know. It's hard to be honest in Blaze Blue. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. But compared to some of the other characters, most of the other characters, really, Mai's fairly straightforward. So if you, you know, kind of recognize the stance that she goes in. Oh, yeah, there's the overhead, K. Take a quick knockdown. Blaberry in the corner. So my buttons are, like, gigantic, especially with the tigers. Pretty absurd. My buttons are like basically single-handedly the reason why this character is actually like extremely good against top tier characters. Like she just gets to press anything in any range and just doesn't care. Meanwhile, Blueberry with a sick combo, 3.5. Oh, it's nice. a throw reset. It's back into the corner, bursts out. All right, that's no burst for a Mega Dot. Oh, Ooh, catch oh there getting hit low. Oh, it rolls through though. Gets hit low again. Okay. Has to defend That's first. Out. Nice hit. Oh, drops the combo. They might have oh. been dead. Take it out though. He's gonna punish that. Oh, she's dead overhead. That overhead. Oh, oh, wow. I did not think that would reach. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Oh, that was just yep. Just crazy. run into the throw. Yeah, Amane C buttons. Oh, there's the drill. Yeah, now the, now you're having to deal with an Amane that's nearly level three. You have to hold barrier at every point. Oh, Actually, oh, not even using. Oh, there's the drill. There it is. There's gonna be the damage. Oh, especially a blue beat. Oh. 4.7. There's the drill. There's almost gone. Oh. Hold oh. this. Yep. Uh you didn't. You didn't bury her because you didn't have much left. There it goes. All the damage. Yeah, just just bury her against the money. Yeah, your friend was right. Just bury her against the money. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do. You have to bury your block this game. Okay. Oh. Hey. You have oh, to bury yeah. your block and make sure that they never get to hit the, uh, the top. The moment they get to throw the top out, it, it, it's gone. You're done. Mm. Frantic neutral. Nice tech. Just staying like, away, oh. but there's that. Don't jump against me. Oh, that becomes charged. unblockable when you fully charge it. Yeah, this game is becoming really floaty now. Just trying to catch either player in something. Small hits, but nothing much. Nice. Going closer. There's a drill. Nice. Nice, nice tech. tech, bro. Burst out. Put it all on the line. Alright, uh, four resources for both these players. Bloodberry with the overdrive and Astral available. I'm just saying. Oh, oh actually, that's big. 
Hmm, they're gonna have to get the burst out of Bloodberry here. But no, Bloodberry can hold it. Yeah. Oh, misses the dive. That's probably gonna be it. Be 11, 10 seconds left. 9 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Man, that's anti-air. No, let, let's talk about Amane anti-airs, first of all. The angle is very specific at which they hit, but the hitboxes are very active and uh, cover pretty good space for, you know, if you're able to stand where you want to stand with this character. Amane is a very strange one where it's like, yeah, their anti-airs are actually pretty decent. The thing is, the uh, the hurtbox actually extends first, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you can actually hit them out of their anti-airs. Oh, just, just stay oh. attack. Dang, you love to see it. Oh, get caught low, trying to run in. Nice, Walk the other side. Oh, OD canceling, trying to get in now. There's the throw, yep. Gets a combo out of it. I'm not sure how much damage this will do. Probably close to 3k, that's actually pretty good of a throw. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's an overhead. It doesn't confirm off of it. Yep, this keeps you safe. Does have overdrive available and is an active flow as well. Catch it nice low. There's the top, yep, just go through with the oh. new Ooh. That reaction was pretty good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he catches him low again. Tried to mash something, I think. Mash your fuzzy jump. Alright, make it that up around. Looking to bring it back. Nice. This will lead to decent damage, but you're more looking for the Oki right there with the drill. So now this is your way in. It's hard to stay in as a Mane, but it's also hard to keep a Mane out. That's the weird thing about it. Because Amane wants to be in the drill range, which is too close for most things, but their C buttons have extreme range, so they get to always have something to press. Oh, mm. That I always love seeing that move, because all I can remember is my teacher just going, stop jumping. It, it, it's just, it's never ending, just stop jumping. Ooh! <laughs> Not quite, but one more hit'll do it. Oh, trust to exceed to sell the fish for something. Nice. Counter assault out. Gets gripped by the drill. Check low. RCs. Bloodberry on. No resources. Low. Drill. Oh, catches the low. Wow. Man. Bloodberry brought that back from a pretty big deficit. Yeah, just drop on them. The problem is, you're still having to worry about, uh, about Mai there, especially at these ranges. It's a little weird. Falls on the drill, didn't barrier, so it's a bit harder to block there. Hmm. So the one rolls out. Yeah, not really catching these rolls, only getting them on block. Have to kind of press on me beforehand. Ooh, nice hit, but doesn't get a full confirm. There's the, uh, the Invincible Super. Yeah, checks low. Do, uh... confirmed, but I've seen up a little bit too many hits. Yeah, it's not gonna do much. Take a look at that overhead, overhead. nice. Yeah, it's burst. 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 You want to win this round. It's so close. It is match point. Yeah, this needs to be patient neutral, just throwing out options. Looking for some opportunity. Bloodberry, though, looking to capitalize. This, uh. Lot of damage here. Oh! Oh, what? Whoa. Is that a reset? Hey! That seemed to be a reset, and that killed, too. Alright! Bloodberry taking it 2 0 oh, over a Mega Dot. Very, very interesting. Like, I was not actually, uh. Expecting that reset with the uh, the super there, even going RC super if I saw it correctly. Yeah, RC super. I think they were trying to make it so it actually confirmed, but caught a roll. Very interesting. They're too nice. They're too nice. Of course. Wow. All right. It was a drop. Right. Uh, drop no, no, no. It wasn't a drop. It was, it was easy. It was easy. 
that wasn't a joke. Let's be come on, come on. American reset. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, that's exactly. Right. It was really good. Um, let's take a look at the bracket. We are in our top eight of this sixteen-person bracket. So if we look at the bracket, we've got the tank versus Deadward in winner side. We have the winner of Frodo and Bilb versus Professor Nekotech. Whoever wins that gets to play against Bloodberry. And Losers is filling out, as you can see, most of the folks we've already seen in the bracket fighting for their chance to get into that top eight spot. Good stuff. Um, let's see. It. Let's see. So let me just set up the scoreboard for top eight, and I'll call up our first match, which is going to be Deadward and the Tank. Yep. Sounds and like some '90s cartoon show. Deadward and the Tank. Deadward and the Tank. Yep. Best best name for a show. Yeah, it's great. You know. <clears throat> Actually, it sounds more like a band. I, I could get behind a, a band named Deadward in the Tank. Deadward in the Tank, some kind of like pop punky, Heavy like metal. Uh, I don't know, mid late two thousands type band, probably. Oh, yeah, I could see it. Uh, if either of you are in chat, Professor Nekotech and Frodo and Bill, I need scores so we know who's on the other side of top eight. I will ping you aggressively during this match if I cannot see them. Give us your scores. We want the scores. What are the numbers, Mason? One. Just want your scores. As a TO, that's all I want. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's. When will the Fortnite tournament be? When will the Fortnite be? tournament be? Get oh, out. Gosh. Ask, ask Heather. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Yo, summer break Fortnite tournament? Hold on, hold oh, on. I put some money into that. I put some money into that. That sounds pretty great, actually. I don't know. Oh man, the tank walking in here like a king. Look at that crown. Oh. They're they're out here. They they already know. Trying to take this entire pot. No, I respect the confidence on display. Let's hope they can I bring it over in their match. Uh, the tank is a Naoto player, if I'm correctly. Yes, so it seems. So, oh, yeah. Naoto versus Hideki. Why do I have so many gosh darn Naoto Kura gamers, dude? I mean, I respect I... it, but. Man. I love how you said that. That that is now the next way I'm gonna call every Naoto player. Great uh, gamers, yeah. Great gamers, yeah. Love it. All right, did work again with the Hibiki. Liked what I saw. Mash is out. Just tries to tank tries doing over hit. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Tank plus R player is Deadward also a plus R player, or am I am I remembering wrong? I have. I don't know about that answer, so yeah, you have to ride on that. But I've seen him in other games, but I could, I probably, he probably already told me and I just forgot. Okay, Sway tries to bait in a burst, probably. Uh, that was an excerpt player, says Panda. Excerpt uh, player, uh, okay, so they're like distant cousins then. Yeah, All distant cousins. Alright. So both sides with the. With the full meter here. Oh, never mind. Deadward having to use the dead angle there. Oh, doing it again. Alright. Oh, slash cape! OD getting popped there. Doesn't get the full combo. That's a nice match. That should kill. Yeah. Yep. Deadward taking round one. That was a really long round one, too. Dives oh. in, but not gonna really be good. Oh, wow! <laughs> Just goes in with the overhead. That dash cancel overhead is funny. Purple throw! Is this, is this Froton in disguise? I really hope it is. Purple throw oh, okay. gets checked low. Alright, drops low it, but again. it's fine. Yeah, you gotta mash on that. Finds a way out. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Man, Deborah getting a lot of stray hits, but not confirming into a line. This does, though. It's a safe jump. There we go. Oh, the RC still gets hit, though. All right. Tied it up. One round apiece. Attack of the clones. Oh, he's doing a shot. He's doing a shot. I'm waiting for the overhead. Oh, OD popped. Just go through things. Don't care about your pressure. I just want my damage. Point four. Stuff. Shadow Core Jutsu. Sways through. Swayed. Results back to neutral. This is completely, absurdly fair. JC gets eats an overhead again. Checks him low this time. Grab. Nice tech. They're just, they're just training pokes. Oh, save jump. No, no. So super. Doesn't work on that super. And mm. Tank will take game one. Very fun. That was honestly really entertaining to watch. And I like that you mentioned that uh that they're just trading pokes from the two characters in this game that have like the worst pokes. Yeah, it's uh you, you know, I mean, you don't wanna take a counter hit from Naoto, right? But uh -huh. like he's being you can tell Deborah's being very respectful, but Tank is just slamming options on him and seeing what sticks. Speaking of which, oh he's an overhead. I do like also that the tank could theoretically go for longer combos, right? Because Naoto combos do a lot of damage, but probably not confident in their execution with the character quite yet. They're just keeping it simple, you know, taking their, their knockdown or, you know, close to knockdown as they can get. Just bring them in the corner. Oh, nice arrow throw! Uh, it doesn't comp tied with the air shadow. It's a uh, full, not full combo, but. Midway combo from the tank. Okay, I lay up, jumps in again. Mm. That's just the mid Can't go super? Yeah. That's round one. Again, still fairly close. Like, it's just a combo or two away from either side. This yeah. game can still go either way. Still a match point for the tank. So, Edward has their work cut out for them. Okay. Oh. Nice. Uh, it's gonna be difficult now. You're in the corner, no burst, no meter. Instead, you just mash 5A on wake up. Yeah, it's funny. They're a guilty gear player. They mash. That's true. That, 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 that's the mash tech. Oh, it's a nice. Look at that damage. Yep, you're just gonna DP, no RC, who cares? Mm. Walk this. Oh, yep, that's the fatal counter with the last part of the Rekka has to burst it. Like I said before, you do not want to get counter hit by this carry, but Tank is putting the pressure on it just to throw the seal. Yep. The Tank taking it 2-0 over Deadward. Very nice. Oh yeah, fatal counter. Had RC to back it up even if he blocked it. And resets to neutral. Yeah, see, so he just whips the button in the middle of the combo just to stop and go back to neutral. Tries to jump in and then he just throws Mm -hmm. Nice. Plus our rep beating the uh, the extra one. Very very restrained uh, now to play. I think not a whole lot of rago DPs or supers. Just very patient, solid, wait and see kind of gameplay. But man, that and a couple of purple throws. Yeah, a couple. Uh, just, a couple you know, just you know, just a few. There, yeah. Just a few purple yeah. throws. It's mm. fine. You're still playing now, so you have to go for them. That that's just the yeah. game plan. So now we have a player I'm dying to see, Frodo and Bilb versus okay. Bloodberry. Frodo and Bilb, first timer. Uh, I did say they'd probably do pretty well in this bracket. Um, they use they, them pronouns because they are in fact two hobbits. Um, okay. And not a singular That's person. <laughs> not a singular That's person. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna pull that up. That will be our other winner side top eight match. Waiting in losers, we have Onyx Dude versus Fickle. Onyx Dude did make it to top eight after losing to Deadward. And then Giant Rat 
is also sitting in losers. You know, when you punch over, summon an earth from your deck, 1500 or less attack in attack position. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty strong. You can beat them in bracket once, but they're gonna summon another earth monster. Uh, and then they will be playing the winner of Professor Nekotech and Zero. You know, it's funny you mention that because uh, Michael Dink, uh, which who you may know, who's some I, I am familiar with. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, he played Giant Rat <laughs> because Giant Rat only cares about attack value and not defense value. Uh, I attacked it; it was Giant Rat, but I didn't have another creature to attack into the thing the Giant Rat got. Mm. So he just got a zero attack. 3,000 defense uh, wall. Little labyrinth off the wall? Giant little rat. labyrinth yeah. wall action off yeah, the time. Yeah, turned it into defense mode on his turn. In your, yeah, and I couldn't get over it. And you're like Labyrinth of Nightmare Constructed or whatever you're playing, Block Constructed? Yeah, well, it, was a, <laughs> it was a progression series. Yeah, so yeah. Started the beginning. Yeah, so uh, I will forever hate Giant Rat with all of my soul, but I, I, respect, I respect the grind set. All right. Oh man, I'm, I'm just gonna constantly think about that again. It's like, <laughs> what did you get with, from your rat? I got a giant wall. Yeah, I got a giant wall. I mean, it's a giant rat, so why couldn't it a giant, like, it just makes sense if you think about it. He just takes you back home and it's just the giant wall. There's a little <laughs> hole in it. All right. Oh, a Noel player. Okay. Oh wait, for real? I, I thought the I thought the avatar was just a joke. I thought these went extinct. Yo, this color's sick. Hold on. And they're both using it too. All right, Noel versus Amane. Now I never see these two characters. Seeing even one of these characters is a Yeti sighting. But seeing two of them on screen at once is uh, not even. God, man, they're just they're just doing chain revolver stuff today. You know, yeah. I respect you. <laughs> they're just doing chain revolver. Nice. So Noel is actually like my favorite character in almost any fighting game. Oh, that's beautiful snipe. Anti -anti -anti <laughs> oh, yep, goes into the chain revolver. Oh, I love this. I'm loving this so much. That was All the right. fastest round one we've had, I think. I good. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> this, how it, this is how it was when I started this game. Nice. Get some, get some chip damage on the table. Oh, low crushes the poke there. Yeah, the thing about Chain Revolver is that um, the different versions of them have different properties. So some of them go over low, some of them go through highs. And then you still have like the different special moves out of them. So like Spring Raid, which is her DP. Oh, uh, I love this character. Yeah, just goes over the low there. Just low crushing, you salt through, just to swap sides. Oh! Oh, oh no! Yeah, oh. yeah, first. No, I take any draw. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's the one hit. You can chip, but... Three. Look just the... You know, honest footsies, but... Mm -hmm. Takes the second round. Alright, Bloodberry. Oh, oh, nice defense. Plus. Levels up Drew. Nice. Ooh, the JD doesn't have the best of uh, hitboxes. Oh, yep, crush goes it. through the low again. Assault through, yeah, you have to assault through RC if you want to actually make something out of it. Um, which does take meter, and Noel doesn't have the best meter game, but still can use the meter for stuff like that. Yo, oh, it's just Drew's Sorry, I'm gonna do my, uh, my super back, okay. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh yeah, checks him well. Yep. Bloodberry taking game one. All three of those rounds were pretty fast. Pretty fast and like insanely fun. I just, I just need Frodo to make more games. Just take, <laughs> take more rounds. I want to see more. I, I want to see more Noel. I love this character. Put on the ring, yeah, put on the ring, do it. Okay, first out early. Didn't decide to go for the uh the B optic barrel. I find that after burst, the optic barrel is like 
the perfect distance. Oh, you're getting put with a top. That's oh, that's full level three. That's that gonna three. suck. This is this is damage. Right, the base oh, just go through. Mm. Mm. Yep, that's oh, good. yep. I will say though, F and B's uh, mash decisions fairly on point from from what I've seen. Very confident in their defense. Knows what beats what. Bloodberry though. Oh, oh Bloodberry's getting shot in the face, never mind. <laughs> Using the optic barrel. Yeah, it was a try to space. Oh, yep. Mm, counter hit, yeah. The corner, nice. Yeah, that was a mid, so you're gonna get hit by that, because uh, while that one has head and bone, uh, mids. Honest mids and mono. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, guess their first back just in time. If they took that combo, they were probably dead. Mm hmm. Well, there's the hit. Yeah, Bloodberry has to burst. Make sure you don't jump on Wake Up. Ooh. Throw it on Bulb, just one Ooh. hit away. You gotta block everything. There's the low. Alright, we'll beat. Gotta mm -hmm. take the situation and run with it. Oh, drops the combo. But that's all oh, safe, and you Probably? just go for it again. No Probably meter, Robert, though. Easily. Optic Barrel doesn't decide Checks. to uh, go for the, what's it called? The dash cancel out of it. Oh, no! Oh, no. Wait. They're still both here. The rest of the I think we might, have just, we might have just desynced. Uh, I think they get to finish. I don't know oh. what happened there. But Barry's putting back up the entry, so they might be playing it again? Uh, um. Let's see what they're saying. Oh, they're, they're, just oh, they're going. going back into I'm, it. I'm fine to just let them go if they're good to go. I, I am fine with this. Yeah. I get to see more. <laughs> more Noel. Let's go. You know, I will say, this has been a bit of a breakneck match. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love every moment of this. Okay, Proto still has to win two games. But they're nice to win one. Just a little crush again. Yep. Okay. 2D, just uh, foot in one because it's uh, off the ground, so it's pretty nice. First out. Just the barrel. That just getting hit on Whoa. every match. Ooh, I feel good. That's oh, that's also not good. Yeah, the Noel Antier is a little weird because it doesn't always catch when you think it should. Oh, Ooh, that gets you the roll, the drill. Actually, no, yeah, you're right. That did catch roll. That wasn't meaty. It was close, but um, that that's meant to catch something. Drill. One thing I do find funny is how much uh, Frodo and Bulb stands up way too much. As mentioned before, Amane only has the one overhead, um, and they have not tried to go for it. I like a solid snake cosplaying as a train conductor. For a second. All right. Anyway, back to the match. Two level two drill. Almost level three drill. Just about. Yeah, that's level three. All right. Did you bury? Never mind. Just throw. <laughs> and that'll be it. Bloodberry takes it. Yeah, just a bit of a series of unfortunate events here. Yeah. Takes some chip. Blocks another drill. R sees it from pressure. Stands up. Yeah. Drops it. Really don't real. need to stand against Samane, but yeah. all the chip damage just is what really gets yeah. killer. And they never really represented throw before either, so like mm -hmm. Pretty good pretty good mix up there. Okay. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff to Bloodberry. Moving on to winners finals to play against the tank. But first, we go down to our losers, uh top eight. We're going to have Giant Rat versus Zero. Zero taking it over Professor Nekotech in um, Loser's Top 12. All right. 
All right. User side, we do have was Giant Rat Zero, Onyx Dude, Thickle, right? That's correct. Perfect. Good old Giant Rat. Giant Rat. About to bring the wall. Oh no, actually, if Giant Rat is a Susano player, that is the wall. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty big rat, but. Giant, even. Right, yeah, the I biggest of rats it. right there. Yeah. Oh, is there a possible Kokonoi player? I think this is our first time seeing Zero in our brackets, so um, it'll be interesting to see who they play. I'm looking forward to a lot of these people that we either haven't seen often haven't seen before at all. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, it's always nice to see the new players. Yeah, no, I agree. This, ga this game's been pretty active as far as... been nice. Susano. S player? S gaming? Susano? Okay, alright. This matchup... Uh, S can kind of jail Susano in the corner with her drive moves and also zone him a bit with her fireballs. S empowered fireball just straight up beats Susano 6A, which is his primary anti-zoning tool. Uh, she also has a defensive DP, right? Or, I mean, I guess all, every DP is defensive. But, you know, as a DP, meterless. So she calls out. Susano trying to reset pressure, go for anything too fancy. She can get out. Susano, though, pressure, kind of scary if you don't know how to IP it. Uh, lots of damage. Very threatening when he gets in. Oh, it's just 5B round start. Immediately burst. There, there it is, that 6A. Zero just hops over it, goes for the overhead Gawain. Yep, gets a crest in neutral, just goes the fireball. Yep, crest gets the anti-air. Just jump and press JB. It's a pretty good button to press. <laughs> Hitbox is so big on this character. Yeah. I'm surprised that uh, Zero's actually trying to play still in, uh, in Rat's range. Considering they could just be zoning out with the fireball. I'm surprised I didn't get punished either. Uh, 6B, oh, uh, yep, now you're getting hit. You're in the corner. Drops the combo, blocks the overhead, gets checked low. Hmm. Now, conventional wisdom say he's, uh, block low, but against Suisano, both of his lows are fairly, uh, unless he has meter. So, standing up is a pretty good strategy overall, but when. Giant Rat has meter like that, he's liable to go for that one. So, yeah. That block's low. Oh, cancels out of it. Goes a little full combo here, gets a seal. Yeah, now it has the fang, so now they can go for another overhead. Oh! Big say. Ooh, nice hit. Okay. Nice. Yeah, looks pumps, but doesn't get the full one, so no hard knockdown. A little fancy with the combo here. That's combo running kind of str Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Raw super, okay. It works. Giant Rat has 100 meters. Oh. Does Ooh, yep, no. it does. Slams an overhead, nice. Giant Rat taking a pretty speedy 2 0 in the first game. Yep. I feel like Zero had the right idea at the start, but. Yeah, playing into the Mr. Giant Rat's range. Ratio plus no DPC. <laughs> yep. yep. I, I saw it the first time. I didn't even want to mention it because all I could, I knew I was gonna laugh. It, it's oh, just every time you see a Susano, it's always gonna be ratio plus something like that. It's always there. I swear, Susanos have the hive mind where it's always you're about to get ratio. SAP overdrives oh. in the air, but. Uh, that EA was a bit far, but okay. Still trying Sorry, they to get close. They're gonna win this round free. Oh. Okay. Nice. nice throw. Gets a combo out of it. Okay. Not fully, but I think, close enough. Yeah, they, that was a miss input 3C, I think. Yeah, I had to guess. Oh, burst spin into the corner. Yeah, the overhead. Oh, that was a fuzzy jump. 
3.6, and that's a throw, and you're dead. Giant rat. Yeah, no they tried to fuzzy jumping out, hit by the uh, the overhead, so that kind of sucked. Oh, like, that's just unfortunate. Oh, same. Okay. Yep. Giant rat just gonna keep getting these seals. Oh. What do you think? Got, got the DP on Mox too. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty big in this matchup. Just being able to on demand DPRC as pressure like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty strong. Okay, yep. Again, hit him with the overhead. Keeps working, keep doing it. Right. Not sure. Oh! Uh, okay, it's fine. Oh! Yep, okay. happy here. It's alright. Oh, go tries to go for the fancy extension. Oh, yep, DPRC first. Yeah, yeah, first. Super low on health. Yep, just gonna keep firing these out. Oh, okay. Oh, another straw super from full oh, screen. You don't have meter for the DP. Oh. Is that meant to be a run of fireballs? Yeah, I wouldn't understand the full uh, reason. I guess it was Ume Shoryu? Uh, it might have been run up 3C. Got two instead Maybe. of the three. Maybe. Maybe. I understand so yeah, take a 6A. Yeah, Giant Rat's content to stay at full screen. Yeah, nice fire. They two for two on those fireball calls, but... Yeah. That yeah, DP right is just uh It definitely looked like a fireball mm -hmm. that was or it was supposed to be a fireball or even like you said maybe a three C where the inputs just came out such that a DP happened. Yeah. No intentional? Okay, I respect it. Alright. I respect it. Okay. Um but okay. I, yeah, no, go ahead. I was just talking to myself for I, a second. I also respect the gamers that donate to the Matcherino. You don't have to, hmm. but it make me smile from ear to ear. And you know how important my approval is to you, random person who is considering donating to the Matcherino. So get on it. Yeah, we, we do have stretch goals for our brackets. If we get to $150, we will pay out our top four instead of our top three. Uh, there is another 1250 coming worth of codes once we either get the codes uh, assuming we don't, I'm just going to throw the 1250 and assume that we would have gotten all the codes because we tend to. So that's only another 60-ish dollars needed to get a top four payout if anybody would be so kind to donate. Uh, I do know FedBab has an Astral Bounty on this bracket as well. If anyone does have an Astral Finish Land, uh, more money will be thrown in the pot as well. And it's not as conditional this time. It's just any Astral, and I think it's just double double payout if it's done in grands. So I don't want to misspeak lose. too much, but I'm pretty so sure that's all close to it. I want to see Astral finishes. Now we're going to have Astral's Onyx Dude and Fickle. Oh, and Fed says it's in uh, both grands and losers. Okay. All, all, so all finals, we have a doubled up Astral Bounty. Okay, cool. We haven't seen an astral finish in a while. I think since the one that I was out of town for, and where there were like a million astrals. I don't think <laughs> we've like, seen one since then. I think there was like four or five. And it, it broke fed. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to this next one. I think Onyx Dude is on the... He's on the run back arc. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's he's hungry. He's got worm children to feed back in back in the U. Uh, it's it's he's he's hungry. You know what I'm saying? Him and his and his worm children are hungry, and they're gonna nom nom on this bracket. That's my call. That's my call. Onyx Dude sweep. Yeah. Hungry for blood, and uh, ready to see what comes after it. Now, Fickle, I actually don't remember who they play because I think they've swapped a couple of times. I'm wondering if they're on the the Moo 12 now. Looks like it. Nice. Alright. So, Moo versus uh, Izuyoi. That's a matchup I've actually haven't seen all too much. Um, 
I generally like to just say it's in, uh, I think it's in Easy Oi's favor, just because I always say it's in Easy Oi's favor. Uh, <laughs> it's a I good default. That's a good default right. to have. Yep. I think it was getting it pretty well when I teleport. Yeah. Like, blue turrets interacting with Easy Oi teleports, that just, that just sounds great. It's funny. It's mad funny. I think I've seen like the the turrets ram into Easy Oi when Easy Oi like teleports behind Mu, and it's it's funny. Ah, yeah, that that would surprise me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, oh, I like I like a lot of use of anti-projectile fireball. You know, this Onyx wants to throw out some fireballs. Just controls mm -hmm. the space with his own fireball, deletes projectiles. Oh, all right, just two I mash doesn't block the overhead. Drops the combo, unfortunately. Oh, just slams the overhand again, yep. Camera sounds like a cool one. Block. Oh, yeah. Cross up. Yeah, that's a tricky one to block. Mm hmm. Back up now, there's the fireball. Doesn't block the overhead again. Alright, yeah, well, honestly, it's meant to do it. Yeah. It was doing a great job just keeping them there, holding them still, preventing any stocks from building up. Really putting a damper on Onyx Dudes. Is he only game plan? He doesn't, he says no teleporting for you. One thing I actually do think is interesting, we haven't seen Fickle actually put out a Stein yet. It just snow hurts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who Stay cares? Keep doing it. Yeah, keep doing it. The overhead. We mentioned this before with the Kokonoe. If it works, just keep doing it. Oh, but that that's not going to work. The first time they try to put out a Stein. This does and so this much does, That's about 6k? That's a blue beat for 6.3. Still, this is really close. One hit for either player possibly will end this. Oh, that's really nice. Behind me. Nice jump. Cool. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Didn't RC the uh, the DP, and I think it's because it wasn't even on block. I don't think you can uh, you can RC that on whip. Scramble. Mm -hmm. yeah, and my Onyx has overdrive almost the flesh. There it is. Nice frame trap. Ooh, yep. Said, I'm not gonna make this easy for you. Nice blars. Yes. Nice. Oh, air throw. Wow. Uh, all right, that that's a that's a wonderful way to combo off that. It's nice. Okay. Check out the cover, and that'll be it. That'll be game one for Onyx. Onyx taking control in that last round. Very nice. Very, very composed. Very. Calm, collected, you know, I I would expect nothing less from is you. Mm -hmm. The second round wasn't very calm, collected, but uh, that was... That was oh, no, no, that was scrambled eggs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But we don't talk about that one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Action. On to game two. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. No attack. Oh. Uh, is he dead? Uh, DC? I think they may, in fact, be dead. Hmm. Yeah, take it. Yeah, take the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no mercy. No mercy. We take those. Oh, uh, you know what they should do now? They should just try to build meter, get the astral, make Fed pay out. You know what? I completely agree with you. Onyx, please tell me you're listening. Oh wait, wait, they're fi fickles there. Oh, okay. okay, they just... Okay. okay. I'm gonna... This was planned? I guess? Maybe their dog, you know, threw up on them or something. I don't know. I don't know, but, you know, unfortunate. Hopefully they'll be coming back. Onyx is, however, playing the Testament color. So, you know, gonna be an uphill battle. That's a power boost. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, did that trade with the DP? Yep, nice first. Okay. 
We're getting a nice hit there. No combo. OD through the yep. 6B. That's a decent damage. Goes in with a super 2. Oh! What is this? Good B. Draws it up. I think we're trying to make this interesting. Counter assault. That I want. Yep. Nice block. Oh, oh we just a back dash. Yeah, the miss finder catch from the back dash. Murakumo units may have the best back dash, but still gets caught by things. Onyx dude taking it a yeah. 2-0. Onyx dude wants this, wants this win, man. I don't know, got second last time, right? Yes. What's, what's the true. W? Mm -hmm. Yep. Catch the back dash and just finishes his plate. I checked in to see if uh, it goes our IPI. Uh, controller DC, that's unfortunate. Oh. Oh, that's Did sad. get it back for round two, but that, these things do happen. Good, good luck next yeah. time. Sorry. I mean, it's tragic, but yep. Onyx dude. Moving on to play against uh, Frodo and Bill, the homies. Nice. Yeah. And uh, we've got oh, Deadward go. versus Giant Rat before that. This will be Loser's Quarters. So Deadward and Rat. We've seen both these players now. I think we've seen um, everybody we've seen at this Deadward point. Deadward multiple times. I think so, actually. Yeah, everyone who's left, I'm pretty um, sure we've seen at least once. Probably, yeah. Um... <clears throat> so Giant Rat with the Susano against Tibiki, the uh, the rat of the game. Yeah, Susano for play. early intermediate players can be a real challenge because he is a lot of knowledge checks, and it's not even the instant blocking that everybody talks about, just his overheads and his like mm. general spacing that he takes up is kind of hard to get used to uh, fast. So if you haven't played against a lot of Susano, it's, it can be hard. Plus, it's also hard to just constantly recognize what moves he has available. Yeah. You have to constantly look for his own bar, and at that point, you're now having to realize, okay, which one is that one? That's the fifth yeah. one? What the heck is even that? Oh, it's Grand Viper. I just got hit by it. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> ugly pictures, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Why does one of these symbols have a three next to it? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, and we will probably see one with a three next to it. Uh, Giant Rat was building up that gun pretty heavily yeah. uh in the matches that they yeah. played before yeah the gun helps a lot yeah but uh deadwood was looking pretty fierce and we didn't actually get to see giant rat play too much on the defensive so i'm curious if he'll be able to keep up with deadwood's 5a offense <laughs> yeah it's definitely tough because it's just no buttons pretty good and like his 5b is very very good but i feel like it's kind of a you know chip versus potemkin situation <laughs> or, or seth versus waldstein i guess where you know if you can get a lot of hits in but if susano hits him once and you know guesses right on the you know defensive situation afterwards Hibiki will actually just explode. <laughs> I got a new one for that. That's um, that's Grappler versus Swiftmaster in Demon uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to think about that. Oh no! It's just destruction if he touches him once. Yeah, but it, it, at least uh, at least Susano doesn't have a full screen parry against the uh, against Hibiki at that point. Where is the giant rat? What about Striker? Probably. I don't like Striker. Probably no one likes Striker. I'm not a fan. Not too fond of Striker, if I'm being honest. I don't. I like my guard bar. I play an 850 health character in that game. <laughs> I like my guard bar. I don't get to see it much when Striker's fight, uh, fighting me. You had a guard bar? Oh, yeah, I'm you, sorry. you guys have guard bars. <laughs> Where is Giant Rat? Uh, he's currently searching his deck. Yeah, oh, I was gonna okay. say he's face down defense mode. Okay, yeah, you yeah. have to flip. Yeah, up. let me attack into Giant Rat. You can go summon yeah. another one, get him into the lobby. All right, swing in now. Yeah. Would have been cool. Oh crap! It was a man eater bug. Man, this is making me want to play Yu-Gi-Oh again. What have you done to me? 
I'm sorry. Wow, I'm actually really <laughs> sorry. I can never be sorry about that. That's the fun part. Sorry. As long as you're playing like the older versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! Once, once it got to the Link era, I can't have fun no more. Oh, what, what don't you want? You know, uh, your Link Karibo to get a thing into your graveyard and have a guy that I, I, I could talk about people go right. through those combos so fast when I played for that brief stint that like I know <laughs> kind of the images of all the things that hit the board <laughs> for a brief second but I couldn't name like one of them it's alright Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read their cards no, they don't you know what their cards even are anyway <laughs> like, I've actually seen quite a few matches where somebody loses just because they are not looking at they like don't know what the opponent's card did and they just swung into it yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah I'm that person. I can't read. Uh, I am also that person. I've I've played many a game and gone, oh wait, I just lost. I, this card had an effect. People make fun Very of the TV effect. show where somebody will just do something and then they'll reveal like what the card does after the fact, and they're like, that would never happen to me. It's yeah, like, I I read. Like, bro, I just that. read the card. Oh, oh, that's a lot of text. Nice yeah. paragraphs, even. Mm-hmm. Man, I love reading Nibiru. <laughs> Nibiru is fu <laughs> as as Tom was saying that Nibiru hit his house. <laughs> you know, he summoned too many creatures. <laughs> I, Sorry, I you better count your words correctly, my guy. Count my words. Yeah. What is this? Five a, five words. Pentameter. <laughs> So that's a new hand trap. If what your are... opponent hasn't been speaking, and I am big pentameter, summon this and negate <laughs> one creature. <laughs> See, Twitter was always right. Twit longer can't exist because I'm just gonna Nibiru that There's thing. Rat. They had to pile shuffle after searching, so you know, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, that's good. good luck. Please select your character. All right, Hibiki all right. versus Susano. To it. I'm actually kind of excited to see how Deadward plays this because this was a matchup I absolutely hated. The wheel of it's and fine. I have, sure. I still have no idea how to play this matchup. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna happen a lot. You're just gonna have to block. It. Oh, nice catch. That's a good place to match there. They're a guilty gear player. They're used to reacting to like nonsensical frame data overheads. If not reacting, then like. Oh, well, except for that one. Nice oh, throw. The throw. Grand Viper was already unlocked. They actually have a lot of seals. Now they got the DP oh. one. Yeah, just reaction DP to their DP. Yeah, that's that's great. There's the OD. Still flashing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Giant rats do not care at all. They are the biggest rat, and they will do whatever they please. Oh. Like that. I... I... Wow. Yep. On to round two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a 5B. Into the corner. Nice oh, DP. Fearless. They're fearless, these gamers. These guilty gamers. Nah, it's, it's just no more respect. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Tomato potato. I'm, I'm not reading your card effect anymore. I'm just going in. There it is again, another DP. You don't have the DP sealed unlock, you can't re DP me. Oh, wait. But there's the uh, guard crush. Yeah. That crush tree right there. Hmm. That's, that's a decent amount of damage. Look at all of those stuff that they got unlocked now. They got the Grand Viper, they got the Fang. It's another overhead unlocked. Oh, there's the other. Keep him blocking. There's the overhead. Nice. Nice key. And this is going to drain down the OD. Clock. No OD remaining. Oh. Ooh, overhead. Very nice for Deadward. Giant Rat now does not have burst. So this is actually a decent place to be at. Nice block on the overhead. I may punish. Goes for a safe jump. Oh, that was a 
Yeah, that was a really nice backdash. I can say the Grand Viper, this is decent damage. Doesn't even unlock another seal. Okay. Tried to go for the walk up throw. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a problem with the, the JC. It doesn't hit very high up. Right. Nice. Out. Still. Hmm. Giant Rank does have all resources available. Oh, it just matches 5A. Yeah, you don't care about resources when you got just 5A. I mean, if you're respecting game one, DPRC, then you just like match five it anyway, right? So it's a bit of a tricky situation to be there, especially if you're like a touch away from death or anything. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't even think they had DP unlock. Well, yeah, but maybe he didn't know that. Like I didn't know. So true, true. Checkmate. Yeah. Oh, fatal counter. Ooh. All right, two point six. Okay. Oh, there's this the uh, 3D. Line encounter, burst cell. 6 8 check. Three again. PvP's only move that's plus is that 3D. Oh. OD going through. Still trades on that, that's kind of sad. Oh no, oh, and it doesn't actually connect! That was a lot of 5 8 Nice. Uh, DPRC still catches. DPRC still catches. Yeah. Giant Rat, now on match point. It's gonna make something happen here. Nice. Sets pressure IVs, but get caught. Oh, repeat. So screw it. Nice. Oh, that's still safe. Nice. Cross up JC. Doesn't pick. Alert the combo. Nice. Still reset. That we're not enough to flow. Oh! With the, uh, that's a full combo. And Susano actually gets decent damage off the, uh, the DPRC with the uh, 3 k Uh, DPRC, yeah. More hit. Oh! Oh! oh. Just, yep. Yeah. Keeps going. Yep. Giant rat. Attack their life points directly and takes it. Whoa. <laughs> All right, get him out of the bracket. I don't. I can't take this anymore. Get him out of the bracket. I don't care if you graduate. I don't care if we have to disqualify you. Nonsensical reason. Get out. I can't take it anymore. You can't take these slifer slackers. I'm at my oh, breaking point. <laughs> oh, looks like more money came into the match arena. Fickle with the ten dollar contribution. Thank you so much. Great to have you. Hope to see you next time. So Giant Rat will take that 2-0 over Deadward. Move on to loser semis. Our other loser's quarters is up next. Onyx Dude versus Frodo and Build. Build. I'll get that up right now. No, I, I'm biased completely for Frodo. But because I... I want more Noel games. Give me more Noel games. It's good. Now, I encourage the biased commentary, honestly. I was on, I was at a gig on Tuesday running DNF for my local, and there was a little thing that was like, no biased commentary on the sheet. And I'm like, it's whack. <laughs> nah. I don't know who's player one and who's player two. They joined at the exact same time. Uncanny. Well, uh, I guess we'll see when we actually get in. Which... Pretty fast, like good. Alright. Nailed it. Nice. Definitely didn't have to swap. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Noel versus Easy Yoi. This is not a good matchup for Noel. What are good matchups for Noel? <laughs> uh, Let's ask that question. Celica Makoto. Okay, so on the low tier at the end. Yeah. Uh, Noel sucks. Prove him wrong, Frodo. 
Do it. Shut Do it for this, me. Shut this guy up. What? what yeah, yeah. yeah. What a bubble hit. Yeah. They're above you, just doing stuff. Just fire a gun in their direction. Okay, first out. Nice. Okay. Oh! Barrel. Okay. They're really good doing that. Even using the RC every time. Oh, RC puts over the overhead. Mm, overhead. Yeah. When fighting a uh, a Noel. You're better off, like, once they start going into their drive moves, just block high. Because <laughs> the, the, uh, the overhead is the fastest thing that they have. They have two ways to hit you when you're standing, but they're pretty reactable, and so it's, like, it, it's kind of hard to deal with. But that overhead is just, it's so good. <laughs> it, it combos. It, it just it just works. It, I like so how they I like how they end their their block string on the gun reload prep, and then when the other person inevitably mashes the oh, they just do the low crush up. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> it, it's the best thing about it. it. It's one of those you have to make your opponent understand. No, I don't care. And then it's the moment when they decide to hit um, a mid. You just do the one that backsteps like that. Because you just kind of walk away from their move, and they just hit themselves into it. It's the best, but it's also the worst. Yeah, the Frodo, Frodo making game one. Huh? Character select. Character. Okay. Two guys, one controller. Just really, you know, Noel, coming in clutch. Uh, handing off the controller to the other one now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Onyx dude, just uh, gonna be taking some time thinking. Great. Now I only think actually that Frodo and Bill, it, it, it's just one guy is pressing the buttons, the other guy just uses the stick. They're not in like any amount of sync, they're just pressing random things. Yeah, I could see it. It works. I'm just imagining. The wheel of fate is turning. Oh, no, no, okay, now Rebel, I'll carry you to the top of the volcano. No, no, I'll carry you. Just take a chance. I'll carry oh you through the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. Just, just littering the airspace with with shell casings and just noxious fumes. Oh, it's put in the corner. It's another overhead. Mm. Nice. Oh man, that's not even an overhead. You just didn't block. Oh, oh okay. there it is. That's a confirm. Yeah, that's her uh, command grab. It only catches if you're standing. It's very much like the uh, the S command grab. Oh, okay. um, and she does get a combo. Out. Cool. Let's start overdrive. Okay, has full stocks. Of... <clears throat> Plus range. Yep. Watching out. Gets hit low. Yep. They gave you know a teleport, and this is what happens. It's fine. Not if you ask me, I hate this character. Oh no! This is the install. Now you have to. Nope. Yeah. Don't. Don't even block. Don't even worth. Not worth it. Perfect, Veronix, dude. Frodo still on a match point though. Still make this work. Veronix, dude, wanting to get back with the run back now. Actually, no, the run back is gone. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh. Oh no, please! Oh, first! Oh! Oh, that one worked. Wow, just went right between the... Check that one there. Cool. Make sure to keep you chill here. Yeah, I get the overhead. Onyx yeah, yeah. That. Gets a hit and then goes, oh, well, I'll just, just do another. Mm-hmm. Alright, Onyx, bring it back. Yeah. Game away.
It got close, but still. Fredbo does have a chance. I want to say that Fredbo has a chance. Do it for me. Do it for me. I bet Onyx is a nice guy, but I, I swear. They're not going to like me after this. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, it's not like you play like... Batista, Lene... Yeah! So you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, either way, uh... Back into it. Uh, Frodo's doing decent. Uh, gets yep. a nice overhead there. Yep. Oh, nice tech. Yep. Stuff. She's just resets. Yeah. Nice. Oh, get, get high oh yeah. 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 It's it's so hard to defend against this character. Stocks running. running. Mm. Nice. Cool. Nice, nice throw. throw. Plus, yeah, plus real red. Okay. I like the attempted bait on the exceeding solar bionic. Doesn't want to kill his corner positioning. Nice! Nice uh, punish. Anyway. Yeah, that that should be death. Oh, or not, you messed oh. up. Oh. But has a chance. Inactive flow as well. Building back up the meter. There's the OD oh. he gets popped. And Frodo dies for that. Couldn't handle the ring. Onyx dude going 2-1 over Frodo and Bull. It was a good effort. I loved every moment of watching uh, FNB here. But Onyx Dude put in the work, had a lot of nice adaptations. Can't be mad. I'm just a little, to be a little mad, but I'm a little, I'm a little mad. Good stuff to Frodo and Bilbo making it that far. Um, Onyx Dude definitely made the adaptation. I think his veteranship in other fighting games came through recognizing, you know, if my opponent's going to go this aggressive, I need to back up, I need to slow down. It really came through. Okay, winner's finals? Winner's finals time. We got nice. the tank versus Bloodberry. Ooh. This should be a pretty good okay. one. So, Naoto versus Amane. Yes, and this will be That's first of the three. One. actually wondering who would win that matchup normally. Normally, probably now, so. I, Probably, I want to say. But Amane does have a lot of uh, ranged tactics that uh, Naoto has a hard time dealing with, other than, like, Sway. Yeah, yeah, he does um, have to get in. <clears throat> I think once Naoto's in, Amane is, has nothing but pain. But, like... If you can't get in, it's just pain for Naoto. I, I think the matchup is actually would have been pretty even, but I think Naoto is just a better overall character. So I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering how Bloodberry takes this and like uh, how Tank is going to try to get in. Yeah, the matchup is just pain. All right, this is first to three, ladies and gentlemen. Got some room for adaptation here, a little bit. All right. Action. Okay, with the... okay yeah, it's just throwing out hitboxes. Yep, there you go. Wake up TP from the tank. Oh, catches oh, the nice roll. Oh, nice Nice yep. Yeah. Go for that 2.6. Yeah, and see, this is what I'm talking about. Tank knows that these combos are kind of kind of difficult, right? I don't want to. I don't want to have my wrists hate me or whatever you know meme now to players subscribe to. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little little extension, get my knockdown, get the corner positioning. And yeah, pre-commanding position here. 
Blackberry dies with their burst available. Good job, but so down around already. Ooh. Yeah, at this point, just saving the burst, just so they can use it here, possibly for OD and such. Yeah, catches us sway afterwards. Use some combo. Nice. Point eight. Pick up sway. Yeah, tank already at half health. Now he gets in. After the Rekka is just gonna get a uh, his pressure. Ooh, nice ant here there. Good damage for Bloodberry. Swaps the sides, gets closer to the corner, but has to work around it. Nice tornado catches. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Not gonna work all the time. Now you got blocked, there's the overhead. 3.1, yeah, just bursting a little bit later, but still decent burst. Oh, there's the hit though. Yeah, he's nice. Counter assault. Oh, that oh, that's with punish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, tank. Yeah. Up. One round. Sorry, one game already. Yeah, Mane, uh, not really good when they, uh, they whiff. A lot of recovery. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Yeah. Sorry, only the first game though. Mm -hmm. so Still, running. tank has to tank has to win two more. So the first game is just a just just data. Yeah. <clears throat> Throw damage. I see end with the enhanced DP. Nope, just gonna go for a safe jump. Purple throw, but doesn't get it. Oh, 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 Really gonna burst unless it's like last round, last touch situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bloodberry really likes to hold on to their burst. I don't think I've seen them use uh, OD either. So I think it's strictly just for burst. Oh, this combo is good. Honestly, nice. Amane combos can like look amazingly cool. Drill, just catch a jump out, take jumps out after that. Hey, yup. Oh, just reset it. Look at the button whips, it's still my turn. Oh, nice mash. Oh, yeah. His turn, yeah. Oh, wow, just holds that. Just keeps the uh, momentum there and just stays there. Ooh, oh. Ooh. All right. Nice. All right, I'll come All right. Okay. This hit has to burst. Look at moves. Really solid overall, I think. It was where they want to be. Control space with their air to airs and anti airs very well. Tank though. Has Blueberry in the corner. Blueberry with no available. Gonna be a little bit before they get it back, too. Nice. That's hot. Oh, oh, that's that might be. That's probably a game after some meter. Oh. Not even. Yeah, that's just, just a counter hit. 3.2. Hank. One game away. Really close. Barry. Some signs of light. Nasty. Took a round, but can they take a game? Can they take three games in a row? That's the question. Nice with punish. Nice. 
catching the uh, the run too. Nice, checks it out. Nice. Doesn't come to combo, but doesn't have to care too much. Gets a nice little reset. Ooh, catches the spot god. This might be right. Very yeah. nice for Bloodberry. Taking round one. That's not something they've done uh, done in the other games. Oh, nice air skull. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's an overhead. overhead. Oh. Nice blocks. Yep. Now they're gonna take the wreck though. Nice. nice tech throw. Look at him pretty well on defense. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. She's in. Punish. Counter hit starter. Oh, Big there's drill. the top. You're level in three. level three drill. Oh, but nice hit. Still level two drill is dangerous. Oh, nice catch. No anti-air. The tank can end this round right now with meter. Oh, it doesn't spend it. Oh, well. That's the two hitter. Bloodberry. On the set corner. Good burst discipline by Bloodberry. But still 1-1. One, one. Tank with no burst available. Or overdrive, I should say. Nice. Oh! It's caught. Lacking. Gets caught lacking. Bursts out. Bursts blood berries. Nice. We seem to be placing a lot of preemptive drills, but Tank seems to be content with just hanging back and doing a wait and see kind of approach. And I can see Bloodberry be a bit more aggressive. Nice cave. Nice. 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 Oh, right up DP. He might have been able to kill there actually. He's the meter, but it's alright. Yeah. Didn't even have to worry about it. Doesn't yeah. even matter. Yeah. Tank taking it. 3 0 for Bloodberry. Yeah. Oh. Really dominant. Yeah, they're, looking, they're looking real good. They are certainly looking real good. Yep. Mount Kuro Gaming in the chat there. As you mentioned before. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, we got another so, donation to the Macharino. Another 20 from Killer Kitty 19 it Says good luck, friends. Cool. Very um, nice. Yep. Yeah. So we are actually pretty close to our first stretch goal of $150. If we do reach that $150, we will pay out our top four contenders, which you know who they are. That is Bloodberry in the Tank as well as Giant Rat and Onyx Dude. So guaranteed all four of them will get some dough if we get another 50 into the pot. And that 50 is actually more like 35 because I'm putting 1250 in lieu of Macharino codes. So nice. we're actually quite close. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. one or two Astros gets us there um, with the right circumstance. But yeah, now mm -hmm. we're gonna have Giant Rat versus Onyx Dude. And this is I'm excited to see this. So this is first the two stuff. Next dude and giant ranks. It's been a pretty good bracket. A couple new faces making it pretty far, which is nice. Um, honestly, love to see it every time. <laughs> Getting to see like new character variety as well is like the fun part. You're laughing at the avatar. Aren't you? I am. I st I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I absolutely no, am no. <laughs> it, 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 it's I knew exactly why. Uh, just because I I have to hold back the laughter myself. It's, I, it's, I know it every time. It's just hanging out with <laughs> his best life. Uh. Gotta love it. All right, giant rat and Onyx, dude. Now, from Onyx, dude's play prior, 
I actually expect uh, Onyx Dude to do pretty well here. But even still, Giant Rat finding the pressure early on, catching a DP. I might have to eat my yeah, word. Yeah, you say that, but this is Blaze Beat. Yeah. You have to, like, fuzzy half the moves of the game. <laughs> you know, That's up, true. Oh, uh, still getting hit with the Grand Viper after jumping it? Oh, there's the uh, Misfinder there. And this is where it begins. Oh! Nice! The back float. Yeah. Oh, there's the overhead. Double overhead. Burst? Honestly, All right. Burst? Oh, just teleport behind the 6A. Catches a little mash, it seems. You press the super there? All right, okay, yeah, yeah super RC. He had full meter. Universal. One good curve oh, is death. Throw. That's an air throw. But that's not death yet. Well, oh, still yeah. gets hit with the overhead. Giant rat taking round one. All right, this might be a closer game than I thought. Six A, another six A, three. Okay. Oh, with no resources to back it up. Nice overhead again. Is that a backdash on the DP? Giant Rat's kind of nasty. I can't. Three point five. Another overhead gets blocked. No punish. Oh. That chubby ID over the jab? That's a perfect for Giant Rat to take uh, game one. I'm going to reset the Discord stream really quick. I think you're a little delayed. So while they select characters, just rejoin. Yeah. Um, that was an interesting one. And Onyx Dude, I saw I had to go back to, uh, to character select. Just to take a breather there. Sticking with these, Yoi. That's their that's their main squeeze right there. Just constantly going in. Ride or die. Mm -hmm. there, there are worse characters to be a ride or die in this. To be honest. The wheel of fate is turning. Is yeah, a top very... three? That that that's a that's a pretty yeah. one to take. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty solid. Mm. Oh, that's not good. Going to the Grand Viper. Already had that one unlocked. Had that one specifically unlocked. Oh, the DP's unlocked now, too. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, just jumps over the Mistfinder. Nice throw. Doesn't throw them into the corner, though. Oh, who cares when you have Grand Viper? I forgot about that. Yeah, it's fine. 3.1. Oh. Watch that air tears. I forget every time. If I remember correctly, um, I was told that if you get hit with only the Aftershock, even on block, that, that becomes plus. If you get hit with both, it's minus. If it's just the, uh, the energy beam, it's plus. Plus frame. So. Giant Rat mashes out. Nice. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I have tried to bait out a burst or something. Hmm. Nice dude, maybe oh, one hit, and there's the throw. I think of all the air throws we've seen, Onyx Dude has like three out of the four <laughs> we had. We've seen some uh, purple air throws. So that that counts for something in the very So, oh yeah, um, nice I, I I just wiped them from my memory. Yeah, yeah. Out of you never stress. want to remember those. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's happened to me. It can happen to you, but I don't want it to happen to me. It could be anyone. Just please don't let it be me. Yeah. I am. Ooh. Overhead. We'll confirm. No draw. Oh. It's alright. That's the install. You're gonna have to eat this. Hold oh. that pressure. Oh wow! Nice anti-air. Wow. Nice. Yeah, all right, Alex just still in it. Yep. Tying it up. One one. Game number three. Level one. Action. 
I really did have to eat my words, because I swear, I, I did not <laughs> think I was get close. No, it's learning experience for all of us. Yep. Right. If anything, I, I appreciate it. I love getting a nice show like this. Alex is going to have a very bit of life advantage, but not for long. That rat burns the meter. Push trigger extension. Nice. Oh, I think you're our Chronic speed. Giant rat does not respect it and gets punished. Ooh, get hit for the roll. First sound. That has a uh, Grand Viper and DP unlocked. As the nice. Turn not the video. And Viper going in again. I don't know which one that one is. Oh! I think that's actually God Press. Oh, just to press. Oh, this dude, man. Like a thief in the night takes that round, yeah. Match point right there. I might still take this. Alright, so patient neutral arcs is slowly gaining. Never mind. Oh, it's one. Oh, so much spell sounds. Oh, with the air throw. Oh, and the overhead. Nice. Blocks the DP, but the RC once again. Onyx dude doing really nicely with that. Catches the roll. Oh. Sparkball and Michael Sword now unlocked. Not usually the good ones you want to take, but the Michael Sword lands. First sound has, has first. To. Yeah, right. wants to win this round, doesn't want to go to round three, but that oh. throw ends it. Giant Rat tying it up. We're on to our last round of the game. Onyx with no overdrive built up. Really, anyone. Giant Rat with all of it. Take another corner, it's alright, recovered. Air to air. Hey, okay, there it is again, but it jumped in. Patient neutral again. Never mind. I, you know, as soon as I say it, <laughs> red. God press on the mock. Can we use it just yet? Oh, fatal counter with the 6B. This is damage. Got the fang unlock. It keeps going. <laughs> it still keeps going, yeah. It's a fatal counter. It's a blue beat. That's going to keep going. Oh, they got the DP unlocked along with the Fang, oh, Grand God, Viper. Just, that's it. Yeah. Giant oh Rat taking it 2-1 over Onyx, dude. I am in shambles. But honestly, very nice play for Giant Rat there. A nice play for Onyx, dude, too. They were adapting a lot since uh, game one and did really well, but... Good hey, sometimes it happens. Oh, yeah, that's just... I, I thought we were going to see Onyx Dude take that, but that was about as close as it can get. Yeah. Honestly, that that was really nice. Uh, I gotta make Good a job from the dark, yeah. three. Yep. In this timeline, the Susanoo player gets his finals. So this is going to be Giant Rat and Bloodberry, Losers Finals, first to three. All right, so Susano versus Amane. Wow, that sounds like a bigger pain for Susano than it did for Naoto. Sounds a bit rough, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't see 6A being all too good in that matchup if Amane stays in the air. Um, if not, uh, 6A is going to be really useful. Yeah, the fact that Susano just has a tool like 6A makes so many matchups just that much better not not as terrible yeah I think he's got the, he's got the right tool for the job and it's a uh, it's a point 22 cal <laughs> yeah <laughs> just <clears throat> who at Arxis thought it was correct to give this man a gat for a 6a well you know it's it's like we can't give this character a fireball just give him something that Eats fireballs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it's it's the next best thing.
All right. Losers finals. I think either of these gamers. I think it's gonna be a close one. I, I really. They've both shown that they're very good at running their game, play, very competent defensively. Yep. Um, but a little bit of info from Panda. Apparently, the only game that has been taken off of Tank was from Giant Rat in uh, game one. Uh, so Giant Rat has been doing well, even against the person that beat Bloodberry 3 0. So, might be interesting to see. Oh, you wouldn't guess it from the gameplay on screen, right? Barry. Yeah, that is true, because this is so far perfect. Is, is he dead? He might be dead if they spend meter, oh. but it doesn't. That's 3.9, though. Oh, that's right. their point. I like, hey, you, I like your barrier. Yeah. Yeah. They've, got, they've got four resources they could probably look to do a chip. chip a rooney but... Oh, <laughs> just... Slapped sand in his face. Um, I love seeing Amane uh, just change their like aerial movement so much. I love these drills. These drills. Oh, nice anti air, but doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, nice. Six A. Jumps over the five B. She's continues pressure. All right, they're fine with that trade. Giant rat. Oh, yeah. Giant rat's gonna get their pressure started. Nice checks a little low. Oh, there's a throw. Oh. Nice anti air for Bloodberry. No D anymore for Giant Rat. But it does have a full meter. Never mind. The D that it was used for counter assault. I'm getting a nice combo here. Oh, but the throw. Good. This could be death if they spend the meter. Oh, drops. Okay, hit carousel. Drill. They barely look pretty low. Uh, both these rounds, Blubberry's forced a situation. If Giant Rat continues to just hang back. They will probably run out of barrier and then die. So yeah. they have to do something. But Bloodberry is already just immediately checking them with, okay, I think you're gonna do something here. And if you do, you're dead anyway. Okay, nice combo. Attacks out. Alright, giant rat in the range he wants to be in. Nice. Here's the corner. Oh, nice tech. Um, Honestly, Bloodberry has been having some amazing attacks this entire time. Like, oh. it, it is hard to throw. Oh, nice. Anti anti six a. Oh, nice one to drive through the poke. Just low at the Grand Viper now as well. Bang him off. Point three. Nice. An active flow. I do believe they're dead. Blah. Yep, giant rat just spewing off bubonic plague right there. Taking that round, let's go now. Giant rat jumping backwards is a bit funny in this matchup. It's not something you generally think that they would want to do, but it's probably the safest idea. Yeah, I feel like giant rat just wants to space around to various anti-air neutral pokes. So just up backing like that instead of risking going into one of Amane's three ginormous like air control options. <laughs> She's like, alright, I'm just gonna wait until you whip something and then I'm gonna go in and run that pressure. And it looks like it's working out because you just took that game 2 0. Yeah. It really helps having that uh as we mentioned before, the six A. 6A just kind of makes or breaks everything about this. Because it's just... You hit the 6A, now you get to run full screen and just... Now you actually get pressure, which is what Susana wants. Oh, oh nice jump in. That's not something you usually hear against Mane. <laughs> Grand Viper. 
Yes. He's on board. Oh, oh. Red. Nice, nice. And a perfect by Giant Rat. It's looking like a reverse of game one. Oh, counter number is jumping. Oh, six edge. Six edge. Six edge. Six edge. Like that. Charge of drill. Okay. Oh, that's the problem with that. Uh, that six A is still a projectile from her correctly, so Amani just gets to charge through it. Nearly a level three drill, but still has to deal with Susano pressure. Oh, but there it is. You get to start up now. Uh, drill. They have to find a way in. Now they're having to deal with the pressure. There's the overhead. I do believe that's dead. That could be wrong. Yep, I have them, but yeah. And there's the. Yeah, you said Monic. Giant Rat, one game away. Oh my kidding? The run back, right? Yeah. Blueberry, probably taking a few seconds. Saying, alright. Right, if I square the root here, then Susano has to do my taxes. Alright, God. I can make this work. I can ruin the Susano so bad that they have to work to McDonald's. Yeah, I mean that makes sense to me. Yeah, of course. You don't want to ruin the other one. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna ruin them, you have to make it like all the way. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. No, no, no half measures, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One. All right. Potential final match. Oh, it's another overhead, doesn't it? Oh, nice. Oh, doesn't confirm though. Nice, nice match out. Fanging God press unlocked. Not the ones you generally want the most. Well, he's Fang. You do want Fang. Cool. Oh, DEA yep. gets blocked, but no punish. Too much average. Nice. Fatal counter with a 6B. Yeah, you gotta burst that. You don't wanna get hit by that. Oh, but instead you just get hit by the counter hit. 5B. Nice throw after a drop. This is family right now in this corner. We're putting it all on the line. Giant Rant knows he just has to attack one more time. And then the duel will be his. Oh, Blueberry probably has like. A mirror force or something. So Yep. Negate attack was just right there. You know, I was just thinking negate attack too. Yep. We're so good at this job, man. You know? should do this more. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. Love it. Anyway, back to the match. We've got okay, oh, oh check some plans. Right, the nice tech man, he is so on point with these techs. Mm -hmm. He's very rarely been thrown. And it is making all the difference for him. Nice. Right. Nice again on the same situation. Nice. Into the Grand Viper. DP's on lock now. I ain't gotta worry. Okay, all the way downtown. Okay, not make it this easy for Giant Rat. Ooh, nice hit. Are we gonna spend any meter on it? I don't think so. Oh, we are! Oh! Oh, not just barely quite. alive! Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Catch the wake of Fox. Oh. Very nice for Bloodberry. Evening it up. And we're gonna be going on to the last game of our Losers Finals. Uh, I gotta say, I, I am currently enjoying Bloodberry going on with this. I, I really like their defense most of the time in the 
seeing just how floaty the amount is. Like that. That that's just so floaty. Just no, they can get what they can of. Take more damage or not damage. I, I'm always deathly afraid that they're just gonna block string themselves into the drill. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, he looks to be in firm control of the game. And then it was a drop. Well, Michael scored the landing. Okay, yeah. Counter assault out. Gets it out. Still so. so have the meter oh, for counter assault. Oh, God press. Oh, God press RC. That's how they kind of combo out of it into the Michael Sword Super. That's almost death. Yep, counter assault out. One hit away. Any touch is going to be it for this round. Oh, you have to worry anything. Oh, There's the no. overhead with the fang. Ooh. Giant rat. Bringing that one back. That was insane. Nice. Starting off pretty big here. Look at this damage. 3.3. Got some nice chipping as well with the uh, the drills there. And look at this pressure. You're just barely getting out. Oh, there's your way out. Jumping out. There's the overhead. Bloodberry decides I have to burst. I don't want to lose now. Giant not even have his barrier available. You're yeah, still having to use some of it. The fact that that top is... Um, the situation for Giant Rat Overdrive counter back in the corner. Overdrive ran out, man. Yep. So now you don't have burst anymore. Only at part four of it. Part five. Oh, you still have to hold all this. Look at that barrier yeah. meter go down, and that's yeah. the life bar two. Look, Barry, tying it up. Set point. Good players. He's gonna be making it to the grand finals this time. Is it gonna be a run back for Blood Barrier? Is Giant Rat gonna see about trying to take back their game one? And right now, it seems like it's Blood Barry countering everything. Barry just eating him a wake up. Doesn't have any any seals unlocked, really. Just has overdrive. Catches the burst. Has to burst. Nice countdown. Blood Barry's just. Wants Giant Rant off. Not really concerned with finishing the game with meter. Not really concerned with. Wants to reset to the neutral, get back into his range. Giant Rant finding the way back in. Not enough meter oh. for Blood Berry. No burst on the table this either. Is this is a lot of damage. Oh! Oh, oh. 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 oh my god! Giant Rat oh, takes it 3-2 over yeah, Bloodberry oh. in the most disrespectful way I've seen in these beginner brackets. Oh, that's I, a dirty boy. I Drops cannot believe it. Oh, I guess he had a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DPRC purple throw. I, oh, my God. <laughs> I guess so. Bloodberry I... was teching a lot on Wake Up. Yeah, that's probably Barrier Tech OS. Um, mm -hmm. Not something too foreign, not something too, too advanced. And um, that beats that. <laughs> that gives you a TRM, right? <laughs> yeah. It's <yeah. laughs> so a really good awareness from Giant Rat finally in game five, pulling that out. That was crazy to see, though. Very nice job from both players. Yeah, I can't wait to see more of Bloodberry. Uh, Bloodberry makes me want to play Amane. I, anyone, anytime I yeah, see Amane yeah. being played, I really want to play that character. He's really cool. He's super cool. Super cool. Um, very akin to like Bridget in like the way of just constant floatiness and preemptive button presses. But oh, don't stay Bridget. Boo, boo. boo. Oh, no. oh no. That was the DLZ boo. special. Very nice. That's cool. Very nice. Okay, here we go. So we got the tank. I didn't update the scoreboard. I was too hyped. But we got the tank <laughs> versus Giant Rat. Grand Finals. Good luck to both players. Run back. Run back from their game one. Um, now, 
Tank took it 2-1 over Giant Rat, so um, it could be close. We actually didn't know exactly how it went. So I'm looking forward to this. These are Susano and Naoto, the two characters in this game that are known the most for just being completely and utterly swingy. They, they, they will swing never-endingly. They will throw any button they want. So I'm hoping for a lot of disrespect. Oh no, absolutely. It comes with the territory of playing these two characters. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Tank though, just always right. She just just six A's back. Nice dash game. Check some roll. Check the roll. Life Giant Red has to win six games. Tank. In an ideal circumstance, only has to win three. I would check the reset. Giant Rat is doing really well so far. I don't know if that was a final frame kill. Is, is he dead? He no, no, that was a drop. That's that. Oh, he just throws him again. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Wasn't a perfect. <laughs> It wasn't a perfect though, that, like, it still got my mental, I still got my mental, I swear. Oh, oh no, it's it fine. begins. It's fine. <laughs> it, it's to the Grand Viper, you're now in the corner again, yeah, DP on wake up, it ain't a perfect no more. Now we're getting our pressure in. Tank about to take it coast to coast. Now you're at the west. How's it feel? Oh, never, oh no, wait, you're out. Oh no. It begins again. Just with buttons, going around each other's overhead post. Giant Rat air throw. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. He is unlocked for Giant Rat, but there's the overhead. You don't get to use it. First, still on table though for Giant Rat and the tank actually. So, uh, this could be a really, really funny rat. Throw immediately for the r giant rat here. Going into the Grand Viper, as always. Let's check low. I'm guessing, oh, I was gonna guess overhead, but no tanks, just TP's out. Oh, another air throw! There's the overhead bang. Oh no! Going the wrong way. Oh, nice. Whoa, that was a weird cross up, but okay. Just fading that. Purple, out. purple throw. throw. With Naoto players are purple throws, man. I swear. It's a fundamental part of their gameplay. Nice I overhead know. purple throw. <laughs> Is he gonna rob him? With purple throw? I think it's gonna be robbery. This oh, is damn. No, it's oh, not enough. Is he dead? No. Oh, oh, oh I thought that confirmed. Overhead oh. to the Grand Viper. <laughs> Giant Rat steals back game one, Ooh. takes the cheese with him. Ooh. Okay. I cannot believe he just went in magical cylinder with this man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who magical cylinder is a random. You know, it's just, I mean, mm -hmm. man. All right, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this, man. I, I, I'm not going to hold you. I feel like this is gonna... final game, final round. It, it, this might. Man, I don't think it was the mirror force. If it was the mirror force, he would have destroyed all attack that the tank can do. But at the same time, it might just be now. Just take all the fight out of him. Just gets another throw for a reset. Hmm. Alright. Still continuing the pressure. Nice. There's the overhead fang. That was a level 2 as well. That's the finish. Perfect for Giant Rat. Slow, still getting caught with the brush afterwards. There's the overheads, plural. Walk up throw. The tank is in shambles right now. 
has to burst. Six A. Uh, don't even have slash to worry about the coin. Oh wow. Grand Viper. Thanks for your country. Not again! Yes, it again. <laughs> oh man. Giant rat taking it now 2 0 over the tank. This might be the reset. That that's a yeah, that's a powerful way to end game two. Oh gosh, my mental will be destroyed. What size pants does giant rat wear? Because I feel like his giant rat schlong weight just flopped on the table there with that with that purple girl. Oh nice. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's as, uh, it's as big as the micro sword right there. Um, but... Oh, there's the air throw for the tank. Alright, I'm glad we... I'm glad he did that. Alright. Nice. It's up over there. Yep. Nice. One, one more hit. Yep. yep. All you gotta do is guard crush it. The tank taking round one of game three now. Very nice. Another air throw. Mm. Oh, but wake up buttons. Nice. Nice burst out. Nice burst out. Alright, cool. Alright. Right. Well, now Giant Rat's probably regretting the burst there. What? <laughs> You know, you know, you had to do it, right? You had to do it. Otherwise, it's just kind of, kind of dead anyway. The tank on the board. Finally. TP continue the streak. Are they continuing the streak or uh? Giant rat resetting the bracket. Could be close. Looks a 5A. Giant rat ready with the punish. Bursts into the. Looks a 5B. Tank ready for the fall. Aerial. There's the overhead. Oh, no, red number two doesn't do it. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice jump out. Nice tag. Catches, Catches the roll. roll. Yeah, giant rat has to burst there. The same. Man. Doesn't have many seals on lock. It is, uh, I think just the same there. Oh, there's the super. Oh, doesn't matter okay. anyway, I guess. <laughs> yep. Hey, can you imagine if seals uh, carried over between rounds? I would hate that. Yeah, that'd be pretty messed up. <laughs> I, I, I would never want to play this game ever again. 6A, 6A again. Tank with a, a sway. Alright, we're getting hit there. That's a nice OP with the, uh... Oh, oh with the OP. Hey. Always plus something. Nice. DP, DP. Yeah, they need Rumble team. out of it. Yeah. It's like, nah, it's alright. I think that was like the apex of it, so it's like, you put yourself in that position. Oh. And Giant Rat doesn't finish it! There's oh. a super jumps over it. <clears throat> Giant Rat just needs one hit. Oh, it's aerial DP! Yeah, it's fine. You had a meter for it. It's fine. It's very burst. Has to spend burst. Oh no! Oh no! This could be wrong. Oh wow! Again. 
the tank steals that game with a pixel. Going 2-2 now. Rat has to make something happen here for a reset, or else the tank's just going to take back the, the winner spot and just win the entire tournament. Such a momentum shift for the tank there that you, you just got to be happy about the result of that. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. They stood in place for that, too. They just waited. Oh, that was an overhead that they went. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be full combo off overdrive here. 3.4. Neutral jump JA. OD. Oh, oh buddy. Yep. Yeah. Just OD EA. Yeah. Both players still overdrive it. Night Rat with uh, active flow. Six gonna build up the burst pretty soon here. Nice. Oh, gets caught. Not dead. Catches the roll from the tank. Oh, that, I don't think that crush trigger was intentional. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hello! Comes the counter assault. Aerial DP again. The disrespect. The tank on tournament point. He didn't even have meter to back it up. I mean, I guess he had burst, but it's like, no, nah, you're gonna mash here. Of the tank, I, I can do what I want. You play plus R after so long, you can just. Oh, I meant. I think oh, I think the he's a soul player too, actually. Soul player in order, soul player. If I'm not mistaken, so he, he definitely feels it. Oh, what the hell? That's so scary. It's a building for the tank here. 80 meter overdrive available. Lots of health. Block. Just have to make something happen. That's nice it. punish. It. Oh, no, no he's got the combo. Oh, oh that's, that's it. There. The tank taking it 3 2 in grand finals over Giant Rat. Ah, very what nice. Turn around. Ran out of cards. That, that turnaround from. The first two games was a switch just turned on. Yeah, reverse sweep there. Very nice. Extremely DPs, good for uh for both these players, honestly. Yeah. Those DPs were were absolutely absurd from the tank. He didn't use them often, but when he did, they uh, they always hit. <laughs> Every single I'm just constantly surprised by the aerial idea of the DP is like Okay, you're pressing it where? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plus R classic, baby. Just 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 do it. <laughs> just do it forever. I, I'm just like aerial DP when they're right under you. You know they're gonna you're gonna catch a button still. Like that's just so, so funny to me. Yeah, good stuff to the tank. Oh. I will give you your Blaze Blue beginner champion role. You'll be number 13. Of a potential 16 who will be invited to the invitational bracket. It'll be a little while before we get there, probably October-ish, but we'll be we'll be there, you know, sooner than you realize. God, I have to play more Blaze Blue so I don't get. Yeah, Tom, you're in that destroyed. too, right? Yeah, I I, I I need to I need to practice up because seeing some of these people in the bracket, I any person in this bracket could have probably beat me. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with. You. As I said, the, the level, level has evolved. We are much closer yeah. to intermediate now than we were back in December when rollback first dropped. Yeah, that'll be the tank taking the lion's share of the pot. We are at one hundred and sixteen dollars. That is pretending all the codes got used. I put in twelve fifty worth of money for the codes. So if we can get another thirty-four, actually it would be thirty-three twenty-seven. If we get another 3327 into the pot, we'll hit $150 and Onyx Dude will get paid with that fourth place placement. So if there are any Onyx Dude fans in the chat and want to see him get a few bucks, uh, you can you should, probably should just hand him $30 at that point, but uh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> um, no Astrals, but um, yeah, so we're out here. This is... This has been our 13th beginner. As I said, we got three more, 14, 15, and 16. And we have certainly more than three people that are vying to get those last three spots. Thank you to my uh, co uh, my commentators. I didn't commentate. Thank you to my commentators tonight, Tom and Koyo. Anything each of you wants to shout out? 
uh, shoutouts to uh, Koyo the Moon Beard. I hear they do commentary for Blaze Blue. Uh, from what I heard today, pretty good. Kind of, kind of made up for this Tom Clancy guy's shortcoming. So, yeah, I'm a, uh, you know, follow them on Twitter or don't. Uh, I'm guessing it's I can give you that Koyo. I can give you okay, that. Yeah. I can give Twitters. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you, Fed, yeah. for the fifty dollars to get us to the top four payout. Much appreciated, Big Fed. Always coming through with the bag mm -hmm. for the Blaze mm -hmm. Blue. Always supporting. Thank you so much, everybody, for getting this pot up as high as you did. Um, means a lot. And your Mystic yeah. Suburban one, right? Um, uh, yeah. Because you know, my dad always said to don't trust the Feds, but uh, <laughs> I'll make an exception for this guy. Hold so on, let me not fed. butcher this Mystic Suburban. Uh, Koyo, anything heard. you want to shout out? Yeah, shout out to a the real Tom Clancy. Always got the uh, the nice professional work. Always giving out the nice uh, <laughs> references. <laughs> the humor is top notch. Totally professional. Uh, Tom's humor is <laughs> actually S yes tier. I honestly, I have to constantly stop myself from laughing out loud just constantly because oh, I, I know I'd be in pain. I would not be able to speak on my own if it wasn't for that. <laughs> I have to hold composure way too much. Nonsense. You should let loose. Embrace, embrace your... It's like a Victoria's Secret ad. <laughs> you know. Laughter is the best medicine after all. Yeah. Yep. It's the best part of it all. Um, so just for closing statements, my name is Ryer. I uh, help out here on the Empirist Club channel. I work a little bit behind the scenes. I run Blaze Blue and, and help out with some of the bracket stuff for WASD. Um, we are a online and offline tournament organization platform. We run four games a week uh, online and we run a monthly, once a month offline in the New York area where you can play um, four to five games that kind of rotate depending on what's popular. Uh, we run Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Guilty Gear Plus R, Sometimes Guilty Gear Strive, Melty Blood Type Lumina, Blaze Blue, and keep an eye out because there are only more games to come. I probably missed one of our games, but whatever. Um, we are going on summer break in the short term um, for the next two weeks or so, from about the 10th to the 22nd. We are going to be on summer break, so no regular tournaments. You may see some pop-up tournaments, but Imperius Club is going to be traveling. I'm going to be um, recovering from a medical procedure so we will not be running stuff for the next two weeks or so i'm gonna take some time off and uh enjoy the weather uh if you want to follow me you can follow me at ryer fgc on twitch uh, i do some personal streaming there for fighting games mostly as well a little bit of variety um as well and i use a cute vtuber avatar so it's a lot of fun and then uh, on twitter you can find me at golden ryer but that is all I've got to shout out. Uh, anything else, gentlemen? Nope, I think I'm good. Cool. We'll Thanks for having me. Let's find somebody Thank to you. raid. Let's see. Tampa Never Sleeps is doing DNF Duel. I might send you there unless someone else is playing Blaze Blue. I don't recognize. I'm going to send you to Tampa Never Sleeps. Uh, Big Tong, huge Florida tournament organizer, great guy. Um, they're running DNF, so go ahead and watch some of that, and we will catch you next time, which is in a couple weeks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. It's been fun. Bye-bye.